on a hill waving my shawl at you. My goodness, my goodness, come back over here. Oh, so this is Dakota Territory. Oh, Stephen, what a beautiful land. It's so wild and free. A body can see for miles. And there's not another person in sight. Oh, oh, Stephen, what a beautiful land. We come from a land from across the sea. We come to a land that was supposed to be free. We worked and toiled for the master's will. We worked for free while the master filled his till. But now we're free. Free to earn a wage. Yes, we're free. Free to go to school. Yes, Lord, we're free. Free to get our 40 acres and a mule. We come from a land of pestilence. We come from a land of no can do. We're on our way to health and wealth. We're on our way to you can do. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. I am Joyce Jefferson. Jerry goes in center, Lillian Witt, and I just shared a portion of the first scene of our play, Dakota Daughters, Wounded Knee Massacre, 1890. 2020 marks 130 years after what history books call the last of the Indian Wars. On this 130th anniversary, Dakota Daughters wants to bring awareness, acknowledge the trauma, and work towards healing racism. Although our characters are fictitious, we describe actual events that formed the West from the 1860s to the 1890s. We portray the emotional currents culminating in the 1890 Wounded Knee Massacre as viewed by Sitting Bull's daughter, a rancher migrating from Texas, and a formerly enslaved woman. After the performance, the audience is invited to participate in a discussion about the conflicting historical accounts of events surrounding the massacre and continuing impact of cultural differences on relationships today.